I'm Karl-Heinz Möller. I'm the chief pilot for the Ministry of Environment and Tourism for the helicopter division. So with this aircraft we do basic patrols, anti-poaching patrols in our national parks and other wildlife areas. We do game capture, we do aerial surveys or game counts, we do VIP transports and then general park management flights. Okay, so if we do collaring within the ministry, it's usually organized by the scientific services division of the ministry. Our aircraft falls under wildlife support services and we help all the other directorates within the ministry. So if the scientific services people want to immobilize and collar some animals in some area, then they ask for assistance of the helicopter. They usually acquire the collars and we have a veterinarian for the game capture unit and then all of us together go out into the field and then try and do the work as efficiently as possible. We often fly areas that we usually don't see and we can foresee a problem happening in that area. So maybe if we find something that's not supposed to be there, then instead of letting it go before it gets really bad, then the helicopter helps and obviously finding out that problem. Another advantage of the aircraft is I'm often stationed in the Tosha, so constant aerial surveillance of the area does deter people from the outside to get in. So the performance is outstanding. With a normal configuration, we'll be one pilot plus approximately three crew and, and then full fuel. So in that configuration, even if it's a 40 or 42 degree afternoon, we can still take off within the safety limits of the aircraft. I wouldn't want to fly any other machine for these type of missions. Either.